guys, I want to introduce you to a very exciting new project, the Waterwolf underwater camera. So the Waterwolf camera is designed especially uh, for fishing. As you can see, it has a quite aerodynamic shape. Um, it's made out of two components. So the housing itself uh, is very, very waterproof. As you can see, there's only two parts. So the main housing and then the end plug here that goes in like so sits uh, really firm. The great thing about this design is the deeper this camera goes, uh, the more pressure that there's on this camera, the more watertight it's gonna be. So far, we have been able to test it to 100 meters without any problems. Let me just show you how simple it is to use the Waterwolf. To take off the end cap of the camera, you just push in your fingernail here, and then you wiggle it from side to side a few times, and you can actually pull it out like so. If you're not able to pull it out with the power of your fingers, a smart little trick is to make a little string with a relatively big knot at the end. At the end of the little cap here is a hole through, and you can just pass the string through that hole, and then you can very easily remove the cap, like that. So the camera only has one function, basically. As you can see, it's either off or on. When you switch it on, it's going to take five to six seconds before it actually reads uh, the micro SD card. Um, and when it does that, it's going to start blinking red. Uh, and when it blinks with a second interval, you know that you're recording. When you switch the camera off, you can see that it comes solid red and then it turns off. And when it's turned off, you know that you can safely remove the SD card. So as you can see, now it's actually recording. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off and be patient, wait for the camera uh, to have the solid red light. And then when it turns off, you know that you are safe to remove the SD card. So the SD card is a 16 gigabyte SD card and this equivalents approximately a full battery lifetime. And that's where this camera is really brilliant because it has a full four hour recording time and that's about 16 gigabytes of data that goes in there. So when you, when you put it in, make sure that you have uh, these little sensors here, they go upwards like so, and then you press it all the way in. You have also a micro uh, USB port, as you can see. You can uh, use that to charge your camera. Uh, when your camera is charging, it turns on a blue light and once that blue light turns off, you know you're fully charged. So it's very, very simple. Camera on, wait for the red light to start blinking five seconds. Then you can mount your plug, make sure that the plug is fully inserted so it's really uh, sitting there nice and tight and you're basically ready to film. So the camera also comes supplied with a little pouch and this EVA pouch is pretty smart. You can actually use that to mount the camera in a lot of different positions. So you put the camera inside here and you can actually, with the Velcro straps, you can strap that onto your landing net, you can strap that onto your fishing rod, you can strap that onto your hat. So you can actually film uh, what you get. All you need to notice is that the camera should either be up or down. You can turn the recording in your video editing uh, program, but it's good to have at least a horizontal air angle like so. In order to stabilize the camera uh, and make it easy to mount uh, on your line, we have designed this little uh, stainless steel stick here with two plastic parts that slides up and down that steel part. And that's very neat because when you put the camera on, you can see that there's a, this opening here between the two plastic parts and you can actually just scoot those plastic parts into that little groove. And when you do that, that holds the camera perfect in position. Then you take the top part and you shoot that down into the groove as well. So you lock it, the camera from sliding up. Then inside here, you can see it's this stainless steel part that you can tie your leader uh, or your line. You can tie that on down towards your uh, filming area. You can actually pull that into this semi-soft part here. And when you pull that into the semi-soft part, you lock the whole thing together. Also, uh, very clever, you can see that it has this little keel system. 
So without any weight, this camera floats with about five degrees uh, angle down towards the water. We can see how that looks in the water. I'm just gonna put that in the water without any uh, weight on it. And you will see that you can actually use that as a uh, control float. Uh, you can see that films just what happens right there in the surface, right like so. So it floats with about five degrees downwards. If I add uh, a little weight to that, you can see that we have uh, supplied with the camera, there's three different weights, small, medium, and large. So with a small weight here, actually the camera still floats. So we can try and, and see that the camera just stays right on the surface like so. So just barely floating, and that's really nice uh, presentation um, when you're drifting, uh, or you just want to film over an area, you can see that floats right in the surface like so. Also, uh, when you're trolling or retrieving a lure that doesn't have a lip or uh, stays relatively high in the water and doesn't dive, the smaller weight is perfect to centralize uh, the frame. It's actually filming straight on the lure. When you get a heavier lure or you get a, a diving lure, you want a, a bit more ankle because that lure will go down and that's where you add uh, a heavier weight. So as you can see, when we add the two heavier weights, the camera will actually sink. Uh, with the medium weight, it's a very, very slow sink, and with the heavy weight, it sinks relatively fast. So let's try to have a look at that. So you can just remove the little weight from the pouch here, and then you can put in heavier weight, like so, and now you will see that this camera actually will now sink slowly and as you can see it's filming down towards the bottom so when i'm probing and i i, I want to film an area uh, what happens on the bottom this is the right angle to have on the camera and there you can see the sink rate with the with the medium weight on it sinks like so okay with the heavy weight you get a lot more angle and it actually sinks quite fast and uh, that can be very clever when you're uh, uh, you want to you want to get down fast, or you want to stay close to the bottom. And when you use lures that dive a bit more, put the heavier weight in, and you will see now. You can actually see that that sinks relatively fast, and that has also, as you can see, when I pull it in the water, it has a lot more angle to it. When the camera is supplied, is fixed with the heavy weight on, uh, you can actually use that the EVA float that comes together with the with the camera. And you can see that it has a nice little slot here in the EVA. So you just put that on your line and you push that down over that tube and you turn it so that the eye actually locks inside the EVA like so. When I have this set up, I can actually film any bait, trout bait, uh, worm, uh, small live bait, dead bait, whatever I have under my float. And this camera actually films everything that goes on under the surface. Let's have a look at that. So as you can see right now, that actually films straight, straight down what happens under the surface. And you can see there's a little angle to it, so, but it's pretty, uh, pretty widescreen, so it will actually film quite a large area. One little uh, trick here is um, you can also rig this up with a traditional float and have the camera a little further down the line. When you have waves and things that are rocking, of course, uh, the picture is not going to be very stable. And that's what it's all about. The key for getting good footage with the water wolves is that the camera needs to be held steady. Uh, the more steady uh, retrieve you can get, the less waves, the less movement, the more clear and the better the picture. And another thing is we need clear water. If anything is suspended in the water, like algae, mud, whatever, it's gonna be very, very difficult to see anything. In clear water, you get a fantastic view. So the water wolf, very, very simple to use, extremely educating. You can learn so much from actually filming what's going on beneath the surface. And uh, it's a lot of fun to work with the water wolf. Let's go work with it. So I'm just gonna try my new toy here, the water wolf. Um, gonna try to film these schools of fish that I see here at the boat launch. 
just to show you the different options. So first, I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to try to rig it up on a float. So I've put on the heavy weight, the heavier of the three. I'm just going to slide that on like so and lock it down with the counter arm. So now this camera would actually uh, sink with this heavy weight. So I'm going to attach this little EVA float and that just slides nice on the line and it goes down over metal stem like so and I can just lock that in position like so. So just checking that I'm on, I'm filming and now basically I want to see how that school of fish reacts. So I'm just going to film it that way right there as you can see. So now it's just filming those fish. While I do that, I will rig up a bottom mounted camera. And for the bottom mounted camera here, I'll show you that I use the same, the same stick as you can see. But here, I just want to attach a small weight. So I put in the smaller of the three weights. And that will allow me to sort of suspend the camera at any angle that I want. So first, just open the camera. Turn it on. It's nice when there's only one function, it's either on or off. It's as simple. So just slide that on here. And now this camera actually will float, but the smaller weight will give it uh, an angle. And then I can attach, I can then attach this weight here in any position that I want. And what I want right now is I want to have, so that's the angle. I want to film a little bit forward, as you can see, it's almost suspending. And I can see right down here is two pike uh, that I want to film and see what they're doing. So, and I can see that they're suspended about, they're going to be about half a meter over the water. So what I'm going to do is that nice and easy, I'm just going to flip that out first. And they well, it might be a little scared at the beginning, but then I'm just going to set that camera at an angle like so. So now that camera is, is filming at an angle down there and you can see that he's totally suspending and this camera might be down a little bit too deep. So I can basically, what I can do is that I can change that angle and you can see the camera is down there at the bottom and you can see the pike is out there. Let's see if we can uh, retrieve our little camera back here to film my actual setup. So basically there's a little current. I will let this camera drift down the stream here and film what I got. That's kind of interesting.